Hello everyone, I'm Terry. And I'm Angel. And we are here today to share with you our delicious recipe on black bean burger. So the last last segment, I was telling Angel, I had such a craving for black bean burger. So we're gonna share with you guys our black bean burger and french fry recipe, which is one of my favorites. Absolutely, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, this is not only delicious, but easy, easy, easy. So the black bean burgers, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ingredients. That's it. Lucky seven. Absolutely. <laughs> Best black bean burger ever. So what we do is you can either take one 15 ounce can, drain and rinse of black beans. We put it in the bowl. Um, one thing that you could do with these black bean burgers is you could grind everything up in a high speed a blender like this if you wanted them to be more like a burger consistency. Terry happens to like the beans whole in this, and so we accommodate him. The only thing I wouldn't do, because we do put corn in ours, um, I wouldn't grind this up. If you were gonna grind it, I would grind everything together, and then I would add the corn in the end uh, once you take everything out of the bowl. But we only grind one thing. Perfect, thank you, honey. Yep. So for that 15 ounce can, drain and rinse, or your own black beans, whatever you like, and then what I did grind in the high speed blender was oats. So this is one and a third a cup of oats. I overdo it just a little bit when I'm measuring it out because when you make flour out of it, it's a little bit less. But I made oat flour and I'm just gonna dump that in there. Again, if you want to dump all your ingredients in here except for your corn and grind it up, it would be more like a hamburger consistency. We use three quarters of a cup these are kind of Southwest black bean burgers. So three quarters of a cup of salsa. As Terry and I have told you, angel not so hot, Terry more hot. So what we do for this is mix them together and then it's a marriage made in heaven, right? Yes. We meet in the middle, maybe. That's right. We so we meet in the middle. I put three quarters of a cup of the uh, salsa. Mm -hmm. And then I like one teaspoon of garlic powder. Everything's better with garlic. And then two teaspoons of Terry's favorite chili powder. Put the chili powder in there. Again, because these are sort of, you Southwest know, Southwest burgers. style burgers. And then one teaspoon of low sodium tamari. And this is where your sodium will come from. It also comes from the salsa, which is not short on salt. And then one cup because we love it of our frozen roasted corn from trader joe's dump it in one cup's worth and then my honey's gonna mix all that up and that's really it for the burgers while terry mixes that up and i get really loud <laughs> i want to talk to you about honey you want to move over just a tad sure. thank you sweetie so Terry and I love fresh cut fries. So we went and we got this at the restaurant store. You can get one of these off of Amazon, this cutter. They're so cool. It's so cool and it's so easy. You just put the potato in here, boom, boom. And in a second you have fries. Ours are medium. We bought the medium one, but we went to the restaurant store. We found this at the restaurant store. It was like $40 mm -hmm. or something. 40 or so dollars. I think I saw them on Amazon for 70, but I mean, whatever. You can't this go wrong. This is a really cool tool. The only thing I would say is sometimes I do cook the potatoes ahead of time in the Instant Pot to prepare for the week to make potato bowls and whatever. When I use those for fries, they come out great in the air fryer, but you can't put them in here because they mush. So if you're going to use this, you have to use the potatoes raw. These potatoes, these remind me of, if you're familiar with the Jersey Shore, the boardwalk fries, but except mm. for we aren't going to fry them, we're going to put them in an air fryer. Or if you go to a carnival, or if you go to some sort of amusement park, these are those fries and remind you of where you get like a cup of fries and you know. Oh, you're them. making me so hungry. <laughs> now I want vinegar. You know the malt vinegar mm -hmm. you put? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so, okay. So since we're making Southwest burgers, I decided to use my salt-free Mrs. Dash taco seasoning for these fries. And I'm just gonna, I always ask Terry to put them in a bowl for me because then it just makes it, makes it easier. I thought I had a spoon here, honey, but I guess I don't. Okay. So thank you. And so you can either mix them up like this when you're impatient, like me, 
And mm -hmm. actually, it coats them pretty darn good. Thank you, honey. Mm -hmm. Actually, that might, might have done the trick. That did the trick. Oh, mm -hmm. Smell good. Can you tell uh, we're smellers? We are such smellers. Learn something new. So that's really cool. So Actually, I have I my that. taco seasoning on here. I'm gonna take my air fryer basket. I'm gonna dump these fries on here and I'm gonna air fry them for 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna toss them around, toss them around and then I'm gonna do them for 10 minutes more. Mm -hmm. I like to do them kind of hot, probably 425 for me and Terry because I like them really crispy. If you don't like them as crispy, just turn your air fryer down to 400. If you don't have an air fryer, do the same exact thing in your oven on parchment paper. Mm -hmm. So those are going to go in the air fryer in just a second. We have a big cookie sheet here lined with parchment paper because this black bean burgers makes a lot. So as you can see, Terry did an awesome job. Thank Thanks, you, honey. honey. Nice consistency. Nice consistency. And I like the black. I like the black beans whole, as opposed to um, you know them being ground up. Again, it gives gives it a little bit more um, firmness, if you will. Yeah. And I think the taste is a little bit more robust. So I just like them that way. So this is where you get to decide. And Terry and I, these are your best kitchen tools, your hands. So mm -hmm. that's just what it is. And you just make them the size that you like for you and your family. And then you lay them on the parchment lined sheet, and there you go. You have black bean burger. Voila. Voila. And we'll just keep doing this. And then we are going to put them in the oven on 375 for 20 to 25 minutes. Just watch them because you don't want them to dry out and they're so delicious. So for me, I have a convection oven. I put it on 375, which is probably closer to 400 because it's a convection oven. And then I cook them for 20 minutes and they're perfect. And again, these are really moist now. Like Angel said, when you put them in the oven, they'll uh, get a lot yes, more dry. Okay. But we won't eat eight of these, obviously, in one, uh, one serving or one sitting, I should say. So what we do is we take the extra ones and we you know, put them in the um, you know, wax paper or some sort of um, saran wrap and we put them in the freezer and they're just excellent to just pop in uh, real quick uh, for lunch. Um, or a quick weeknight dinner when exactly. we get so busy and we just say, hey, we're going to have burgers tonight. We, we take them out. You can warm them in the air fryer or in your oven. It takes just a few minutes because you're just trying to mm -hmm. warm them. Mm -hmm. Put them on something. They're great. So we'll finish this up. Honey, show, show them what they look like on the, on the, oh, the yeah. sheet. My hands are kind of messy. Yeah. Look at these guys. But I'll Delicious. line them up. Yay. I'll line them up about eight and mm -hmm. then we'll cook them and we'll come right back and show you what they look like. All right, guys. See you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. We are back. And we are ready to eat some burgers and fries. Look at this delicious oh, meal. Oh, this is amazing. Look at this delicious meal. Where do we start? So I want to start with we're using our homemade wheat rolls mm -hmm. and we dig them out in the center because we like to fill them up with all the yummy stuff that we like. So I do that for Terry and put myself. Our condiments in the middle. So let's put our condiments in. Yep. And whatever you like on your burgers, if you like barbecue sauce or ketchup or ketchup and mustard or whatever it is, I would try to stay away from the mayo if you're, you know, a mayo person. But yep. um, I use a little bit of both. Yep. A little um, no sugar added Heinz ketchup. And Grape coupon because it's delicious. Mm -hmm. And then I like to get it on both sides a little yep. bit. Oh, look at yep. that. And then we have here the condiments that we like on the side. I love lots and lots of tomato. And you want some tomato, honey? Tomato. A tomato. <laughs> well, I'll eat enough tomato for both of us. So we got lettuce and tomato. And then here are our beautiful burgers. See how how they hold up? Mm -hmm. Man. Delicious. Mm. So, Terry's burger. And, and they overfloweth. They are just <laughs> over the bread, so. amazing. So, the burgers. And let me see if this is a little bit warm, but it's okay. Please note that People think that they have to put oil on their air fryer. Just spray a little bit. It doesn't have any fat. It does have fat. So we don't use any spray. And look, look. Look at the fries. Look at the fries. Look how crispy and look how they move. You don't need 
oil. Why add the fat if you don't need it? Look at how crispy that is. Bite that. Mm. Delicious. So we're going to get a bunch of fries on our plates. Mm -hmm. I know you want a lot, but we got to save room for your asparagus. Oh, I forgot to grab the asparagus. So we're going to have asparagus with this tonight <laughs> because you do have to have your greens along with your starches. And so we're going to have lots of fries and lots of asparagus. I have a pickle in that green. Yes, but it's not enough green. Okay. And so, show your plate, honey. And see how, whoops, his condiments. So, a little bit of Terry loves his barbecue sauce and his ketchup for his fries. I think I'll try it. Okay, I love it. Mmm, delicious and crispy. Mm -mm -mm. And then the asparagus is going to go here. Mm -hmm. So, it's a nice balanced plate. Oh, those fries are delicious. Let's try our hamburgers. This is not going to be graceful, okay? <laughs> Salud! Salud! Mmm! Mm. Yummy. I'm telling you, if you. All love, the flavors just mm, come together. Mm. If you loved burgers before you went whole food plant based and you're dying for a burger, this takes the cake. You're going to love this. This is incredible. And these fries. Fries are delicious. Or crispy. Oh my gosh, honey. Mm. Thank you so much for helping me, sweetie. Mm. You're welcome, baby. This is delicious. Mm. Mm. You're welcome, baby. We're going to go enjoy our dinner. I got to get the asparagus. To make sure my sweetie gets his greens more than your pickle. <laughs> and we'll see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.